I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. This is the gauge cluster removal done on a Nissan Maxima. Really not a tough job, doesn't take too long. So let's go ahead and begin the job. Now before you begin, you just want to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. So as you can see, we have a plastic bezel surrounding the gauge cluster. Now it's held on by, there's one Phillips head screw right there, and then there's another guy right there just to show you what it looks like. Okay, one there, and the other guy right there. And then on the bottom of this bezel, they have clips, very, very strong clips, and we'll use a uh, removal tool. Um, I'll show you what we'll use in, in a moment here, just to, to get this uh, plastic bezel unlatched from the clips. And then you have these pods that we also need to remove, uh, cruise control security, dim lights, and an empty one. Okay, there's the first one. Oh, and there's the second one that I just dropped. Now we need to remove these pods from the dash, and what I'm going to use is a, a flathead, but I wrapped uh, duct tape around there just so it doesn't scratch up the plastic. Uh, I don't have a small enough plastic tool like one of these guys that we'll use on the bottom. I just don't have one small enough, unfortunately. So. I just wrap the uh, the end of this flathead with some duct tape. And just be careful with it, okay? Some other people, they may just remove this plastic bezel first and then disconnect the pod. You can also do that. You can really do whatever works for you, to be quite honest. Okay, then we have the dimmer over here. Okie doke. And I'm just going to disconnect these now. We have a plastic tab right back here. This one's tight. There we go. And then for these other guys, again, plastic tab. Push down on the tab, pull from the housing, not from the wires, just pull from the housing. Same with this guy. And they go in a specific way, so in other words, you don't have to worry about mixing up these tabs. And then I'm going to use one of these plastic removal tools. You, this, these are very nice to have because it won't beat up your dashboard. Again, and just go ahead, insert the tool. And as you can see, let's go around the bezel. We'll do it on the other side as well. So again, you just go underneath the bezel here. And with my other hand, I just like to lift up at the same time so it doesn't place so much pressure on one point. There you go. And you can hear one of the clips get loose, but you can just reattach that. It's no big deal. And then we're going to slowly remove the housing here. Okay. And then we have three Phillip type screws holding on this uh, gauge cluster, and then we'll be able to remove it from the vehicle. And now uh, this just slips right off. You have a tab up top, just press down on the tab right here where my index finger is. And there you go. And then, of course, to reinstall, just place your, gently place your gauge cluster, and we'll make our connections here.
And before you place this back in the dash, you have this clip here. Just make sure you put this clip back into the cluster because if you don't, the wires will be everywhere when you try to reinstall this sucker. And just make sure no wires are being snagged on here. And there we go. Then of course, just go ahead and tighten down your bolts here, or your screws. And then we'll grab our plastic bezel piece here. And just make sure you line up your uh, harnesses here before you snap this bezel in place. Okay, 